my name is Abhishek Jain and welcome back to the Inflix DB tutorial series part 2. And before watching this video, I would like to recommend you to watch part 1 as this video is gonna be the continuation with the part 1. And we're gonna start from where we left in the previous video. So quickly do the recap what we had covered in the previous video. In the previous video, we saw how we can install Inflex DB on a window machine. Then we see how we can run the DB, Inflex DB server on the corresponding client. Let's quickly check whether it's still been running correctly or not. So, yep, so server seems to be running fine and quickly see uh, the client is also working fine or not. Yeah, it's working. Let's quickly do what all databases we have. We can see the list of these databases on my screen. If I will just highlight one internal then we have a first inflix db demo and in the previous video we created this second db so we can just get into the second db since we're gonna utilize this particular db for my uh, demo for this particular video and let's quickly see what all tables or the measurements we created in this db right so we have this application name we have cpu uses and temperature let's quickly do the recap again <clears throat> So, uh, uh, so we have already checked whether server and client is running fine or not now and we also covered this the basic command where we created this second DB database and we just created a bunch of tables with the help of the insert command and we briefly talk about you know the Inflix SQL query structure and we also just briefly touch the measurements you know the con columns with index column without index and we also see how we can access the data and more or less if you remember from part one the queries which we are writing in Inflix SQL is pretty much similar to the SQL query right let's quickly jump what we are gonna cover in this video so we're gonna cover so very first thing we're gonna see it's a theoretical concept followed by you know the uh, the working demo so we're gonna see the Inflex SQL structure where we're gonna cover some theoretical concept. In this, we're gonna talk about a little bit more about measurement, then we talk about tag, fields, and timestamp. Then we're gonna see how we can create the table in the Inflex SQL and how we can insert the record in it. Then we're gonna see how we can access, there are how many ways to access the data from the Inflex SQL tables. And in Inflex SQL, we refer those table as a measurement, right? Then we're gonna see theoretically the major differences between the Inflex SQL and SQL. So let's quickly jump to the Inflex SQL structure. So if you see that uh, from the structure perspective, the very first thing which we have uh, used to have in the Inflex, Inflex SQL is the measurement, and which is pretty much same not pretty much it's, it's same as whatever we whatever the object uh, name table we have in our dbms so measurement you can understand as a table then we have a tag key corresponding tag value and these tag key and tag values are nothing but it's again a column but if it is a tag key and tag value then automatically inflix db creates a index for this then we have a field key equal to field value the only difference between the tag key and the field key is by default, Inflex SQL create the index for tag key, but for field key, it's a simple column where you don't have any index. Now, this is what the complete structure look like. Measurement, then you have a list of tag key values, then you have a field key and a corresponding field value, correspond then followed by the Unix timestamp. That we're gonna cover in this. In the, so for now, it seems a little bit uh, different from the SQL, but believe me, it's not. There is only few differences which we gonna, which I'm gonna cover about, which I'm gonna cover. So just see this query, insert CP uses host server, host equal to server two, reason equal to US underscore East, then we have a value equal to 0, 1.5. Now let's quickly see whether this table has been created. Yeah, it's tab this table is already there, CP uses. Let's see what we have in this. Just see, the query looks like pretty same what we write in the, uh, what we write against the RDBMS. We simply put the select star from table name and here CP uses nothing but some measurement which is same as the table, right? Now we have host, region and value. If you see the insert command, which you, which you can see on my screen, it has CPU insert CPU usage, comma host equal to this, then reason equal to us underscore east, then value equal to this. But from where did this time is coming? So as I mentioned in my part one, this is the default behavior of Inflex DB, right? Whenever you whenever you fire that insert command, insert followed by whatever value, whatever the literal word you put 
in FlixDB create the table for that and by default it's create a column time and it's create the primary index on it right and all those records like all those tag values and the field values are going to be the data points corresponding to that time column where in FlixDB capture the timestamp uh, or timestamp of a timestamp of that particular instance on which that particular query is going to be fired so for example let me quickly uh, fire this query insert cpu usage comma uh not this let me just first drop this okay and we will create this again right and the table name is cpu usage i'm saying table name basically it's major motor major motor right? so select star from let's uh transition cpus see this time we don't have anything right now what we can do is uh, i have already have these queries written here uh, let me just first run this particular query and see what happens all right okay now run this select the stuff oh now see uh, insert query which i just highlighted here on my screen just see we don't have this time column but this time column is getting created by inflix db for you because it's a time series database and this is the feature through which it makes inflix db a time series database i mean it's just a very simple language i want i'm just using this 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 particular phrase to just make you understand right there are a lot of concept which makes this inflix db a time series you know the database right so this is what we can do now the next thing is what we can do is we can just and you just remember that we didn't create we didn't fire any create a statement we just fired the insert statement and this table gets created up for us right and this is the structure and it is pretty much difference this is the pretty much difference between the sql because in sql which we fire against the rdbms you you would have you 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 would have used this create a keyword uh, which is the concept of which is which is the keyword to create the table on 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 rdbms side right so let's quickly run all these all these uh, let me quickly copy this and so now all these insert, insert statement will run so now to utilize this advantage right what you can do whenever you want to you know uh, monitor any particular application what you can do is if you want to suppose uh, uh, monitor the uh, memory consumption right for example then what you can do is you can tag this app that application you can get that memory consumption time and you can just create this particular table like insert memory uses then give some some t some tag value like and here we are use that server you can also use the host echo to server name you can use the ip address and whatever name you feel like then you can use some other values if you want to in create an index on that then you can just put the memory uses you can extract that information for that particular application and you can keep inserting here and you can then just visualize the data and see how the memory consumption is trending how it is being consumed by your application right now so so this is what uh, this is how you can just create this table and let quickly check select count star from uh, the table name is cpu usage see now we have 289 records right let's quickly jump to the ppt right see cpu uses is nothing but some measurement which we can understand like a table then we have this tag key and a value then we have this field key and a value now just quickly cover the you know the major differences between the inflex sql and the sql you see you can see on my screen to create a table against the rdbms you write this create table command and if you want to create uh, but here you can see this time is not creating an index in the create table so what you have to do in a in a in a traditional relational database you have to use this create index to create an index on the time column right but here in the insert you use the insert command which implicitly implicitly creates a table and also creates the index on a time so there is a difference you can see on my screen how two queries we need to fire against the rdbms whereas in in flexql we have to just fire on the one query and that will do create the table and create the index now in a, this is this is it from my side for this particular session and uh, in the next section what we're going to cover is we're going to cover the data source creation of inflex db in grafana and then we're going to see whatever data we have created so far for this cpu uses table how we can how we can visualize on 
Grafana, right? So that's it from my side and thanks for watching this and stay tuned and as, as always if you have any feedback and comment please feel free to put in a comment section and if you want to see any improvement or if you want to incorporate any feedback please feel free to put that in a comment section. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks a lot everyone.